Welcome back. Pot time. I don't even remember what the fuck room. Uh, I think it was that one. Four is ours. No, five is ours. Really? Yeah. Still wrong. Um. Oh, I think he was in the next one over. Next door? Yeah. Um. This is the hole. The hole. <laughs> hey, there's Pothead. Then we probably gotta do something for him to get his autograph. What is that little bubkit one as a present? Uh. Oh, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? Oh, man. Don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only signed for checks. You're a... Fuck you! Go talk to... Uh... Yeah, the... His big fan. Oh, I was gonna talk to fuck him. Oh, or her. That'd work, too. You're a fine specimen of a man. Marvelous, dude. You still had to write a tough little mystery, didn't you? So ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, I'll help. <laughs> I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very. What's with people losing their jewelry? Yeah, fuck. So, you lost your ring, huh? Giant mounds of. I saw a giant mound, I was gonna start laughing my ass off. <laughs> Um, gold ring, gold ring, gold ring. Are you somehow in here, bitch? Nope. Just gotta search everyone's room, I guess. It's not what it's not what it's important right now. Exposed. Mm, it's so red in here. It's so bright. It's actually hurting my freaking eyes. Maybe, maybe she'll help us. Gold ring. I'm gonna be pissed if it's in random rooms. Why was she That's in, what I'm thinking. Why was she in random rooms then? Yeah. Unless someone stole it. Maybe he knows? Well, I heard it was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. An interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. Yeah. Hey, a kid can be whatever he wants to be. I think that Boca might want to learn from a guy he admires. <gasps> the fucking train engineer. He wants that autograph. He wants that autograph. What a twist. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. Well, oh, fuck your ring, bitch. Oh, boy. Where would this ring be, though? And what do I get if I help you? Mm. Jack shit. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, you, give me your autograph. Heavy toad. <laughs> He's like, no one's ever asked for my autograph before. Gosh, oh. I've been getting oh, Called that it. felt fantastic. Called it. Now. Let's check these fucking rooms. Yeah. That's... I mean, that's not her mind. Such a selfish little bastard. Mm-hmm. I only give autographs to chicks. Like, well, dude, what do you think that? Sure, you're not gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some bitch. Hey, fatso, you gotta you eat go the rain? range. You eat the rain. Do you think it was like Cheerio or something? Oh my god! Oh. How would you screw up that badly? Look at him! All he sees is food. All he sees is food. Who lives? It? No, it's, it's oh. uh, there's nothing here. Fish room. Lie to me. There's some in there, I bet. That one's. Why would it be in your room? That'd be funny if it was in your room. I've been framed. There's 
Nothing here. Well, don't lie to me. Should have never left our room. Yeah. Just stayed, Just there, stayed the in there all three days. Really? Does everybody just want help? Really? Okay, well, I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. Then why are they such a big deal to you? And they're oh. all, like all full of memories and stuff. I don't need them back. Believe me, woman. When it comes to that stuff, it's best to leave those memories behind. Indeed. The shiny stove here has been polished with brilliant luster. Dozens of unusual spices crowded in a small rack here. That's about this thief. I'm actually He's gonna to want help too. I bet. Oh, maybe not. He's not a dick. He's not a dick. He's not a douche. A little douche. <laughs> a little douche. <laughs> Alright, give the kid his autograph. Oh, maybe he'll give us like one of like the ring or something. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I want. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Or shine sprite. Thanks for the autograph. Okay. I'll take care of it, I promise. Uh, and they're just gonna sit there and fight constantly about... Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be night, night now, ain't it? Oh, wow. Fancy. I heard you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blank accounts. I mean, someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might be your s your suspect, Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I thank you. <sighs> blanket P.I. <laughs> Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep uh, watching. Where are you? I'm Something. so sick of being everybody's errand boy. <laughs> so you're saying there's one of these people who are on here came without a ticket? Yeah. Probably him. You dick. All my paperwork done today, so I can drill myself tomorrow. Oh, so, would you stay out of my way for a while? Stop being a dick! It's nothing. Oop. <laughs> this. Hey, dude! Bam. Bash him. First time I said there was a story, I was like, is that mouse thief lady on here? Did she steal oh, the gold yeah. ring? Did she steal the earrings? Yeah, that's a possibility. The unticket passenger, just as I suspect. It's probably fucking him. Yeah. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in Cabin 8. Rudimentary, my dear boy. That's Elementary, my dear Watson. I give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with the little nugget of investigation. Of course, I have no other hints to it. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy sticky suspect. Hmm. Still does not solve our golden ring or pearl earrings. Nope. I don't know why I'm getting this feeling, but just check in the item shop. I don't know. I just... think maybe there's something in here. I don't know. Gold bars? What do gold bars do? Gold bar times three. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, nope, never mind. Twas oh, a you thought. Can store items with him too? Oh, you can? Well, it said withdraw, or is that just like if you can't? Oh. Hold on, I think you get the points. Napkins and plates. Napkins and plates. Well, can't you give us a hint at least where you might have lost them? them? Like, seriously. Um. Yeah. Every time it does that crop thing, I think something's gonna happen. <laughs> like, huh? Like somebody's gonna jump you. Maybe. This room is just empty. What if you. Yeah. Go Vivian in there for a sec. What if someone comes walking in? Oh. oh! Hello! Are you 
dude's like watching us. Caught you, bitch. Can you not talk to him? There you go. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Ah, uh, yes, the conductor did leave one here. Didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A young, sticky threat. No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. All I need is... YOUR LIFE! No, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest traveling days. And my fear that someone would find and read it kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room. Can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Make sure it's not on the fucking thing. Yeah. How? God, good Good thing you thought. Don't you even dare read my diary. Okay, because calm if you down. Do, oh, 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 a horrible fate awaits you. I think it gives us the option to read it, too. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna do it. I'm scared, you bitch. So, where's the baggage cart? That's what I was just saying. I was thinking maybe it's where that conductor is blocking off, but we can't get past by without the blanket. There's a ghost next door? You're just trying to get me get my goat now, aren't you, you big liar? Go look yourself. This thing is ghost, right? Right? Come on, tell me I'm right. Come on, please. God, stomach, stop it! I'm getting so sick of this. The struggle is real right now, fans and viewers out there. It's hardcore. It's hardcore up in here. So we need to find the blanket, the ring, and the fucking earrings. Everyone's just losing everything. Nope. Okay. Where the heck is there a baggage cart? I don't know. It was a baggage car, didn't it? Or car, yeah, that's what I meant. I guess go talk to the... I don't know where the fuck all the jewelry and shit is. Maybe it'll be in that room. I don't know, I'm just... It's the only other blood. So we've been in every other room. Hey, cheap, cheap boy. Wait, what? Curse this time and he wants to like eat the food. Oh. You're not allowed to eat food. You make just it. make it. God, that would be the worst job on the planet. Being the one that has to make all the food, but you can't eat any of it, even though you know how good we'll it go, is. See. And he won't give you the blanket unless you get the diamond from the baggage car. Let's see what we'll go on in. Let's see oh. the ghosts. I'm not seeing no earrings or nothing. Whatever here. Ragged diary. You shouldn't, you read, shouldn't it. read it. They shouldn't tell me what to do. And do whatever I want. Is that a? Yeah, look, look up there. There's a entrance thingy. How do you get up there though? Questions that don't have answers. I can't get up here. Hmm. Flurry, reveal to us anything that may or may not be hidden. Or not. Because you're useless. Stomach, shut up. Well, looks like we're gonna that's gonna have to be something to come back to later then. I don't know why I have to do so much shit before we can go to the fucking place. Yeah. Well, I think it's because like is this is shorter? a this is a majority of it and then the place is shorter, I'm sure. Cannot leave my post. No. Well That's my job. That's my job. Oh, sure, what the heck? 
Maybe Curse by the Ghost, do you want to read it anyway? Oh, sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? It'd be really, really bad. I want to see if there is a really, really bad... Yeah, I, I wonder if there's something really... Like, what if it's, like, game over or something? Oh, God, just fucking die. <laughs> just fucking die. You will live with me forever within this room. Oh, that'd be so bad. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. Rugged Diary. This is Super Paper Mario, isn't it? If he reads it, he will get a game over. Wow. So you do die. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not fucking kidding around. Good thing I looked! Well, that would've been bad. When was the last time we saved? I don't know. Oh, that would've I saved been... it like in that one hallway not too long ago. Either way, though, holy man, that would've been bad. I thought you just have to fight him or something. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to be that serious about it. You dick, bro. This one? Yeah. Yes, we found your diary. Very wise to my diary, friend. Oh, you might have read it. You might be a spirit like me right now. Now you go peace, man. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Oh, okay. Just beam up to heaven. Oh, <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. You can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it. <laughs> Feel bad forever, whoever has to live in that room, then. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go give him his blanket. It's not just back and forth bullshit! I mean, it's just a train. You gotta go back and forth and back and forth. You ain't nowhere to go. Where are those... F that freaking ring and those earrings, though? Like, seriously. Did the sticky dude... Like, steal it or something? Oh. Well, lack of a better name. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mystery maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forgot, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Fuck you! It's getting late, Mr. Mark. Perhaps you should just turn up for the night. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately, no doubt. Where do I think? For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Fuck off. <laughs> man, so we gotta be on this train for three days? We just finished day one. Yep. Oh, man, it's gonna be long as fuck! Oh, wow, it's closed now, actually. Late night. Kitchen is closed. Put out those candles, bitch. <laughs> it's leading. Yep, save. Dos minutos. Yeah, I'm trying to, so let's grab a few winks. I said drinks for a I second. Was, yeah, that's what I was damn. like. Damn, this is a kids game. Y'all getting underage drinking? Get faded. Yoshi, you're like fucking what? Like fucking a month old, maybe? About? Uh, Train voyage day two. Yay, everything's restored. Go see the rabble. Uh, email. Is it a useful one? I doubt it. Nope, it is not useful whatsoever. <sighs> Good morning, any chance to see him or show him? Nope. nope. Oh, oh, so... I'll give him to you when I got him. <gasps> Bitch, you know I must be a savage. <laughs> delicious day, make food so delicious, hoi hoi hoi. Alright. Stop there, boy. Hmm? For the next episode, we shall oh, indeed continue on doing whatever it is that we need to do. I don't know what we need to do, but we will find out what we need to do, and we will get what we need to do done. <laughs> wow, Jesus Christ, that was a sentence. <laughs> that was quite the sentence. Alright, everybody. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye. Bye.